And of course, with Mother's Day weekend here, there is still time to get a special gift. But as News 19's Tai Wong explains, flowers may not be an option. We have had a limit on what we could receive due to the flower shortage. Mother's Day is the busiest time of the year for florists, but it's even harder for them with the national flower shortage. Shelly Laird is the owner of Pinefield Florists who says the shortage has made obtaining flowers more difficult, but she's finding new ways to accommodate their customers. We have had to play with um, shades of colors a little bit. We've had to substitute some flowers for the other. Um, getting a little more creative, but we've been able to make it work. We did have to stop taking orders much earlier this holiday season than we have in the past. Laird says the coronavirus is one big reason why the flower shortage is happening. Getting a sweet smelling deal on flowers this year might be a little more difficult no matter where you go, as the national flower shortage is not just affecting Pineview floors, but dozens of other floors in the Midlands. I have three different wholesalers. None of them could get the sunflowers, and there were several other flowers that we couldn't get. Christine Seibert owns Bride and Blooms. She says her customers have been understanding despite the setback. I just call the customers and let them know that we can't get that particular flower. I have to sub it for something else, and most of them are very agreeable. Seibert says even with the shortage, they're doing the best they can to provide the best quality for their customers. Even if we have to sub the product, we will still make it up to their value. And we just ask them, you know, to be patient with us. And we hope once this pandemic is clear and everything is over with, everything will go back to normal. Tai Wong, News 19, WLTX.